Here it comes, the Sir Nigel Presley. <laughs> oh, look at that! Wow! Wow! Oh my God! <laughs> We're pretty much at the foot of Warbreck Hill Road. We're in Bisbam. There's a bit of an industrial estate just over here. Um, and we're close to the railway line. Now, I'm just picking up my ladders because uh, I'll tell you about that in a minute. I am heading, I'm going to be heading through some fields. This is a bit of green belt here, folks, yeah. And uh, I'll tell you some camping over there, look. Oh, look at that. Wow. I think that's a sign of the times, isn't it? What do you think? I wasn't expecting someone camping, but I have seen people... In fact, I saw someone camping near the zoo. You know the zoo? Blackpool Zoo. There's, there was a tent there for a while. But that's what people do nowadays, isn't it? They just camp out wherever. I can hear a train going past. There goes a train out of Blackpool North. Now, what, what this video is about is... Well, you'll know, won't you, from the title? There is going to be a steam train coming along here and I'm going to a place where I can get a nice shot of it coming along. I could have gone to one of the stations. I could have gone to Leighton Station, which is not far from here. Now, I have been here before on a video. I'll put a link to that at the end of this one. It's a cracking place to watch the trains coming out of Blackpool North and then heading off to Poulton and out to... Wherever. And this train, the Sir Nigel Gresley, I think it is, is heading up to Carlisle on the Settle to Carlisle line. Going over a little bridge now, a little, little stream there. So we're going to head to this. It's only a small bridge and uh, we can get to see over the top. We'll get to see this steam and it'll have, it'll have quite a head of steam, <laughs> should I say, by the, by the time it gets up here. Okay, so I'm now out into the open now. We've got a pile on up here, look. Electricity pile on. And you know, they have horses in this field as well. Yeah, I had them on my last, uh, my last video when I was up here. But I can see the bridge now, it's straight ahead. And you'll be able to see Blackpool Tower in a minute. We're to the northeast of Blackpool. Frank's filming me now with his drone. <laughs> you might see that if I get the video off it. Frank's got a drone, so. He'll be able to film it. I haven't bothered bringing my drone. I thought I'll just film it with uh, with what I've got here. So uh, look at this. We're in between. Just over there is Carlton and Poulton. I can actually see Carlton Cemetery. I can see some horses over there. So look at this space. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. I'll put a link to that other video at the end if you want to check it out. We've got a cracking view of the trains. So I'll just turn it around. Oh. Can you see Blackpool Tower? There it is. Look at that, Blackpool Tower. How far away are we from Blackpool Tower? I would say, oh, uh, three miles. But anyway, just up here is the bridge. And uh, yeah, this is where we're going to see the, the choo-choo. Okay, so that's where I came from, that path over there leading to this bridge here. All nicely decorated, as you can see. Yeah, there you go. And this takes us over to, well, Mulberry Drive Industrial Estate. We've got some caravans over there, look. Massive load of caravans. That. There's a school over there. I think it's, I um, can't remember the name of it, but I think it used to be called Montgomery's, was it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to get up these ladders now. Look at this view now. Whoa, that is a perfect view of the, the train tracks. Look at that. You see Blackpool Tower as well? And as we look this way, you can see the water tower over there. Look, the water tower. Blackpool's highest natural point. So there you go. We are going to be seeing a choo-choo train thundering down here soon are you excited i know i am 
I'm just going to show you some footage. Uh, I just caught a train heading out. I uh, don't know which one it was, but that's a, a train heading down the track towards Carlton Cross. It's absolutely epic view from here. I'll put the long lens on for that, and you can see as it goes over the crossing, the level crossing at Carlton, you get all the cars going across. It's a bit of a... It's dead busy there, you know, when the, when the barriers come down. It's one of those places where you get a build-up of traffic, and, uh, yeah, so I, I tend to avoid it, but it's a spectacular view. Anyway, we're now back here. Look at this, we've got a pond. Check it out. And there's an egret over there. Look, can you see in the distance? That's an egret. It's amazing what you see in Blackpool, isn't it? Yeah? Anyway, we're probably only about five minutes away from the choo-choo train. Right, we're just minutes away now, so I'm going to get myself in position because I don't want to miss it. Frank's got his drone. If I get any footage of him, I'll show it. It's going to be pretty epic. So, let's head up here. Things you have to do to get... <laughs> well, it's like the things you have to do to get a photograph sometimes, but I'm doing video. So here we are, I'm in position. What a view. And you know, we had some rain last night and that rain has cleared the air quite a bit. I mean, I saw some sunlight on the tower before and it looked absolutely spectacular. So we are going to be seeing a steam train Coming down these tracks now, it's going to be on the right-hand track. Yeah, I don't, you know what? I've seen the Flying Scotsman. I remember going to the Ribblehead Viaduct to see the Flying Scotsman. And I was a little bit underwhelmed. I'll just show you a picture now of what I took. I mean, because I was so far away, and because the Ribblehead Viaduct, spectacular viaduct in North Yorkshire, in the middle of nowhere, uh, but it goes round the bend, and I was expecting this thundering train coming, do, 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 you know, do, 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 thundering round this viaduct, and it was it was nothing like it, honestly. It came round at almost walking pace, and the steam coming out of it was well. I think it was in summer, so you don't get much steam in summer, do you? Because you don't. You, if it was in winter, it probably would have looked a whole lot better, but there was no steam coming out of it at all. I was just so underwhelmed. It probably would have been better to, to see it somewhere else. But anyway, never mind. That was a flying Scotsman. So uh, uh, let's hope that this one will, uh, this one will get, be a bit more exciting because we'll certainly get closer to it here. I don't know if you can see Frank Stone up there, but he's in a good position. He is going to follow the train. He's going to be at the front of it and he's going to follow it for as long as he can. I've got another camera set up just down there, which is looking down the track towards Carlton. That's the one I filmed the crossing with. Oh, I can see some steam in the distance. Oh, Frank, it's coming. <laughs> I can see the steam. Can you see that? Oh, this is so exciting. Look at that. Can you see? This steam train's coming. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like a little kid, honestly. Oh my goodness, look at that. It takes you right back to the olden days. Can you imagine that, the steam age? Um, this one is going to Carlisle, so I don't really know how the train tracks work. I'm not a train spotter or anything like that. Some people will know, some people are experts. There are, there are train spotters out there that know more about trains than the people that actually drive them or are in charge of them. But anyway, let's turn you back round. Oh, isn't it exciting? There's a steam train coming. Oh, the train's coming. Oh, listen to that. I think they put the, uh, they, they, give it a, they give it a tinkle just so they go, go past uh, Leighton Station. I tell you what, it's getting up a, a head of steam. The Sir Nigel Gressley leaving Blackpool. Oh, look at this. That is spectacular, folks. Look at that. Wow. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That was amazing. Oh. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh my goodness, I've never seen anything like that before. That was incredible. Oh, wow. What else is? 
Oh, that was absolutely awesome. What do you think to that, folks? Now I can see why the train spotters get so excited, especially about the, the steam trains. Oh my goodness. I have never seen anything quite that definitely, definitely beat the Flying Scotsman, so-called Flying Scotsman. It was doing four mile an hour around the Ribblehead Viaduct. So that was, <laughs> and it was miles away. Because the thing is with the Ribblehead Viaduct, if you go close to it, you can't see anything because you're underneath it. So you had to be a certain distance away. Uh, so there you go. That was uh, the Sir Nigel Gresley steam train leaving Blackpool. It's going to come back later tonight, but it's going to be dark. I probably won't bother filming that, but yeah, it's going to be back. There's Blackpool Tower. Those lucky people on that train going to Carlisle on the Settle to Carlisle Railway. Probably one of the most, it's got to be the most scenic railway in the UK, definitely. Possibly in the world as well, I'd say. Settle to Carlisle. They'll go across the Ribblehead Viaduct. But anyway, I'll tell you what, no, I can't back. That was unbelievable. That was absolutely. You know, I've seen some amazing things this year. I've seen the seven bore, a five star seven bore, river seven bore. I've seen the total eclipse of the sun. I've seen um, the northern lights, but I tell you, that's gotta be up there. It's definitely up there. Seeing a steam train just like that from the top of a bridge, leaving Blackpool. Well, you don't get much better, do you? Anyway, that's it for this video. I'll put a link to the other video that I shot here a few years ago if you want to check it out. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.